What's up, world? It's your boy Iconic. Back again with another video. Yes, sir. We are back in the sneaker room. Back with another banger. Back with a review. But before we get started with this review, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the own feats, the sneaker line, the sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. Not gonna waste any more time, y'all. Let's get into it. Boom, we have a bag here directly from Hibbit Sports. You see what's going on, man. Um, your boy did go pick up these joints this Saturday, and I know everybody's been talking about them, but I just wanted to give my personal opinion on it because I had these shoes in the past, but I never, uh, well, I had them and I sold them uh, right in time before they uh, announced that they were gonna re-release these, and now we got them back in hand. So, box label reads, Air Jordan 4 Retro, colorway is black, white, tour yellow, nor, Juan, Tour, and Blanc. It is a size 10. Um, was trying to find a 10 and have an 11, but wasn't able to, so I got a 10 just to try to see if I could trade it, but if not, you know, probably let this fly. Here's the actual box itself. It is black. It has the flight with the gold jump, man. And you have those like speckles all the way around the box, special box, like we've got on other Air Jordan 4s that weren't OG colorways. So we flip the lid. Of course, underneath, there's yellow underneath the lid, and then you have your speckled paper right here as well. You flip these back in. Man, man, man. I really want to get this shoe on my size. I really shouldn't be buying shoes at all, but this might be one that I got to renege on. <laughs> but, boom, we have it here, man. The Air Jordan 4 Thunder. And let me just say, man, a beautiful shoe, beautiful shoe, beautiful shoe. You do have now have updated OG specs when it comes to like the tongue shape and the, the whole layout compared to what we got back in 2012. But definitely, definitely, definitely a dope shoe, man. I did uh I did like a what they call like a compare and contrast of the red thunders and the um the regular thunders. Maybe last year sometime, I believe that's when they came out. I did a review, I'll probably put it up somewhere. But I did a review, man, and it's just like, I love, I like the Red Thunders, but I love the original Thunders, which is the black and yellow. I feel like when you start kind of putting all these different funky colors with it, it kind of gets stale. And the black and red wasn't bad. I think that's the only one they should do. I, I do not want to see like a black and green, a black and blue, black and purple. I just feel like that's doing too much. I feel like this and that Red Thunder should be enough for what we've gotten in this reference to a Thunder 4. Um, of course, you know, I like the Lightnings. That was a grail. I actually kind of regretting that I sold my uh, Lightning Force <laughs> because I got these in here now. And it's like, man, I wish I had both of those for the completion of the set. But, you know, that's how that sneaker thing go. I am going to do a video tomorrow explaining why I got rid of a lot of my grails and stuff like that. But as of right now, man, it looks really decent, bro. One thing I did notice off rip, though, is behind the tongue, the yellow is way different than what is on like the midsole and on like the, the netting right there. They, they are two different yellows, 1000% sure. Um, one thing I did notice as well that this piping right here, it's pretty decent. I mean, I don't think it makes or break it, but I just feel like it didn't need it. I mean, I think when you're wearing it, you probably won't notice it as much, but it's that little detail that I just feel like they, they really didn't have to add to it, but it's cool, it's whatever, man. Um, again, really dope shoe. Got the white jump man on the back. Of course, you got the white jump man on the tongue. Flight in yellow, black laces, black um, netting under uh, on top of the gold, uh, kind of like material underneath the actual netting area. And then on the wings, you got your your yellow, uh, you know, eyelets at the bottom and at the top. But definitely, definitely, definitely a dope shoe. Um, as far as sizing, y'all, I always say go true to size on the Air Jordan 4. If you have a wide foot, you may get away with going to half size up, but most importantly, bro, you have to break in Air Jordan 4s. There's no way to just get the shoe wear and feel like it's comfortable. This shoe is not meant for that. Uh, this shoe, uh, it's, a, it's supposed to be a more casual shoe now, but the shoe has to be broken in. There's no way you get rid of that like pinky toe paint without breaking the shoe in. So here's the insole right here, y'all. White jump, man. White Jumpman right here, man, on the insole. Insole is all black. This is behind it as well. Uh, for anybody that's trying to do any legit check on the shoe, if you are buying from anybody, this is how it's supposed to look underneath. Uh, let me make sure I try to focus that up. That's how it looks underneath right there. This is how it looks behind the tongue. So if you got anything other than that black patch with the white Air Jordan behind it, you already know what you got, baby. 
Um, when you look right here at the silent tag, here is the silent tag for anybody that needs it. Anybody that needs a silent tag, hopefully y'all can see that. But that's what's going on with the silent tag right there. Might be a little blurry, might not be. But yeah, man, overall, I think it's a dope shoe. Um, 10 out of 10. My pair doesn't have any like craftsmanship issues. I don't see it being anything out of the ordinary, bro, from a Air Jordan 4. You know, one thing about the 2012 pair that was always super trash was that everybody that had a pair of Thunder 4s, they always cracked. The, the paint chip so bad. Like, when I talk about crap, I'm talking about the paint chipping. Like, the paint on the midsole used to chip so bad to a point where, like, people would just stop wearing it because it just looked so bad. So, hopefully, you know, with the upgraded way they handle stuff in the, you know, factory, maybe these last a bit, a little bit longer. But, um, whew, let's, let's, let's give ourselves some luck. Hope we have luck with that. Um, midsole right there. Got the white air unit. And yeah, man, nothing too crazy, man. Nothing too crazy at all. Bottom, you got the white jump, man. And then you got that yellow hit right there. Um, I was watching a video yesterday where it was like, uh, I think it was like Richie Lee. Richie Lee was talking about it, um, hype, hype Talk. And it was saying how like this shoe reminded him too much of like Fat Joe. Because Fat Joe did have this like crazy photo of him wearing the Thunders. I believe in front of a Lambo or Ferrari, which was crazy. But man, you know, that's what that's what it was. That's what people was doing back in the day with these sneakers, bro. When we, we had a corny age where we was doing stuff where like people would do stuff with color cars and um, do stuff where if you had a grape five, you would put it next to some grapes. So if you had the Oreos, you would put it on top of some Oreos, bread, you know, just all this little kind of like, I ain't gonna say lame, it was just kind of corny. It was hella corny. It was hella corny shit that we would do, but it was, that was us. That was cool to us back in the day. And you know, to me, I still have no problem with it, bro. If anybody wants to do it, do it. So yeah, man, definitely a dope shoe. Overall, 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Um, I love the craftsmanship. Definitely love that OG more style shape that they gave us. Uh, liner in the actual sock liner is black. So yeah, man, overall it's straight. I felt like if you want these, go after these. Surprisingly, they are going for like 270, 280. I can see this shoe going back up to like 400 over time. Would that be right away? Probably not, because I feel like they're gonna end up either restocking or doing like another re-release of these. Just like they did like the Thunders, so, I mean like the Lightness. So right now, I mean, get them if you want them. I feel like 280 to 290 locally is like a good number. These did come to like, I believe 230? I think like 230 or something like that, because they were like 220. So either 235 or 240. So if you pay like $40 extra, that's not bad. I know if you probably spend the money on the app, you probably would be at like, maybe 300 so save yourself the hassle bro you know if you can pay 280 locally 275 locally do it grab it if you want to shoot that bad um mother's day just went by so i know some of us out here some of us out here kind of broke you feel me we done spent all our money on uh these mothers anyway ain't nothing wrong with that shout out to all the mothers out there but yeah, man, if you want this shoe, go after it. I think it's a dope shoe. I think it's worthy to be in a collection. And I want to try to get my 10 and a half. But if not, I'm not stressing. I want it. But if I don't get it, it's not meant to be. So yeah, man, I thank y'all for watching. Again, not going to keep this video long at all. Keep it short and sweet. I thank y'all for watching, man. Before y'all go, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with reviews, the own feats, sneak a lot of sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. I thank y'all for watching, man. The future belongs to those who prepare today. Till tomorrow, y'all.